I have many reasons to doubt channeling. I thought I'd run through a list of things, uh, just key points, bulletins, that really express my problems with channeling. I'm sure you'll be able to throw in a few more. Uh, just type them in the comments section if you get bored. There's no real science to it. Now people talk about science, they say the scientific language, scientific ideas, but the science itself is actually just stuff you could find on Google. You know, it's five seconds away and boom, there it is on Google, Bing or any other search engine. It's like you've only read the, like, a couple of lines when you do a basic search. And that's the level of science you tend to find with uh, channelers. And there are some who go a bit further, usually by just using scientific language, scientific concepts, but don't really understand the in-depth points when it comes down to the actual uh, scientific literature. So they are really just simply spurting out a load of, well, BS, to be honest. Another point is that many channels disagree on the details. They'll say certain things are true, certain things are false, certain things are the case, certain things are not the case. And then they'll disagree. Angels operate in this way. Palladians operate in that way. Speak to a different channeler, you're going to get a different story. Unless they happen to follow the same sort, point of view, because they follow the same literature. It's cultural, rather than actually being a question of some kind of greater truth. And you can show that where certain people gravitate towards certain types of views on angels, aliens, the afterlife, or whatever the case may be, they have set points of view according to those cultural backgrounds. So you could say different cultures within the New Age movement dictate the types of beliefs that people are going to have. But you know, a big part of it is this kind of copy and paste belief, or copy and paste beliefs. You have many different ideas which are simply replicated and as I say they tend to um, rumble through the whole movement, the spiritual movement. I mean, you have people who gravitate towards certain ideas, they latch onto certain ideas and they say the same shit as other people in the same part of the movement in terms of their metaphysical outlook, their view of the conceptual ideas which forms their spirituality. But uh, essentially we're talking about people who are latching on or holding on to certain ideas and saying these things are the true things. Certain key speakers, very popular speakers and authors within New Age are the backbone of those beliefs, which leads into the philosophy, of course. You know, the philosophy of New Age is very often the same sort of thing where you have certain very well known philosophers who tend to be the ones that people gravitate to uh, and they become quite well known within the movement. So people uh, use their kind of work, their kind of ideas, as ways of keeping their stuff kind of still relevant. Different ideas within philosophy can be very subjective. So typically what we see with New Age is where people take on these ideas from previous thinkers and they simply link them to other ideas, mix them into their own ideas to give them a level of legitimacy. And naturally you have a lot of word salad and cliche terms, sure, you have a lot of buzzwords, and it's, you know, stuff where people say, oh, there's an energetic shift in your quantum alignment or something. Some nonsense, which means nothing. It means absolutely nothing in the real world, even if it means something very powerful to the person who might be saying it. And they think it's very clever, even though very often it's simply, well, filler. And for the sake of making something which is factually incorrect, seem to be logical. Interestingly, many of the claims made by channelers are, well, they make mistakes. They get things wrong. They uh, get something as simple as a calculation wrong, even though they're meant to be channeling an ancient being with uh, advanced knowledge. It's actually quite interesting when you get down to it, when people who are meant to be experts in contact with higher beings, advanced life forms, uh, <laughs> even future incarnations, they end up getting the information so massively wrong, making massive mistakes, not understanding fundamental points that they're expressing continuously and making errors. And very often they'll change the story as time goes on. And um, they'll say that something in the past was not fully explained, or they will simply ignore the past, come up with the story and say, well, this is the full detail. So if they simply bulk out a story, they can say this is the real McCoy. Whereas the previous points, which might have differed massively, are simply um, where it wasn't explained in detail. When in actuality what we're talking about 
are massive errors, massive mistakes they've made in terms of their story, whether it's a contactee story or whether it's um, an astral projection story or being involved in a satanic cult. Very often these channels are talking about a new coming, a new uh, paradigm shift, a new age coming into being. And they've been saying this since ever. You can go back a century and find people claiming the same thing, you know, channelers back then or mediums doing the same sort of thing. These great revelations they bring forward fail continuously. The grand claims of a new age doesn't really come to fruition. Or the idea that there'll be some kind of negative route where we will go through a whole load of bad shit and then come out the other end as a spiritual civilization. I mean, very often these ideas are based in the same sort of cultural view as things like the end times. I mean, the end times of Christianity sounds terrible. Big destruction, terrible things, but then paradise on earth afterwards. So that kind of idea translated into New Age is very often we're going to go through a lot of changes, a lot of hard times. We'll get rid of the reptilians or whichever bad things are going on in the world. And we'll end up with a new, brilliant, brand spanking age, a perfect spiritual age. A, a revived Atlantis, perhaps. Because after all, if you're making it up, you may as well aim for the stars. And when it comes down to the biggest lies, or what could be argued to be some of the biggest lies, it's when many of these characters supposedly being channeled are basically famous beings. How many people claim to channel or even be the manifestation of Jesus Christ or one of the Buddhas? Saint Germain is popular. It could be uh, certain alien entities, uh, very often uh, certain famous uh, individuals within New Age and spirituality. And these characters simply give us a load of fluff. We don't get the science, we don't get the, the solid details. Very often they disagree over the details that they do actually give. We end up with this coercion when it comes down to the uh, way in which they practice. They're trying to convince you of their copy and paste beliefs junked up word salad and they keep on making mistakes in their stories in their points and these errors would be explainable if it's simply the person there making mistakes why would there be mistakes why would you need to change your story you know it, it points to delusion and you know this delusion is best shown in the pipe dream of some kind of great future and the idea that jesus or buddha is giving this to you it's kind of pathetic you can understand why needy people might latch onto this, but in the end, it is simply a pleasant image you place before you. It doesn't really mean much at all.